Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, my name is Ashley Neves and I run the Tennis Mental YouTube and Instagram accounts. And on this channel, I post videos to help tennis players, tennis parents and tennis coaches to get more out of the game. And recently, I've been posting a few videos of me playing with my slinger bag. And I've had some really good feedback, lots of people liking the videos, so I've decided to do a few more. Even if you don't have a slinger bag, hopefully you'll get some information from this video that will help you within your game. With the French Open currently being played, I thought it would be good to do some drills with my slinger bag working on a clay court. So in this video, I'm gonna show you five drills that you can do with your slinger bag to practice playing on a clay court or dealing with heavier topspin and longer rallies. On each video of the five drills, I will put down the settings that I used for the current drill so that if you have got a slinger bag, you can dial in the settings to the, the same as what I'm using and have a go yourself. When playing on clay, there are some things to consider. The clay moves under your feet, so when you're moving around the tennis court normally, you've got a nice grip on the clay, you're gonna be sliding around. So I've incorporated that into some of the drills you'll see in a second. The other things you need to consider is the tennis ball reacts more when hitting with topspin on a clay court than it would on a grass court or on a hard court. So you'll see some of these drills that I do with my slinger bag, I've set the setting up slightly higher than I normally would, slightly higher trajectory and a slightly higher speed to increase the topspin so that I can practice dealing with that heavy topspin shot. On a clay court, the ball does bounce higher, creating a longer rally. So the game does become a lot more physical when you play on a clay court. You have to stay in the rally for longer. You have to chase balls from side to side. A lot more baseline tennis is played as opposed to playing on a hard court or on a faster surface like a grass court where the rallies will be shorter, you can take the ball earlier and you can get in and hit some volleys.
so there you go. There are five drills that I like to use to help my clay court game using the slinger bag. Now each of those drills, you'll see that some of them I use cones, you can adapt them in any way you like. Try to have a go with the settings that I used. For me, that helped me to manipulate the ball and give it some more topspin and more height to mimic what you would receive on a clay court. And you can even do this on a hard court as well if you play um, on a different surface. But yeah, adapt the drills in any way you see fit. Give them a go, let me know how you get on. And if you don't have a slinger bag, let me know if you can practice this in any other way. Hope you enjoyed the video, let me know how you get on. And if you like this one and you wanna see more videos on this sort of content with slinger bag or other tennis tutorials, make sure you click that subscribe button at the bottom, hit the notification bell as well, and you'll get notified when I put out a new video. Take care.